Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace Give Gaming, back with another Frank Season 2022 game. I have to be really fast because they're already in game as you can possibly see. If you do want to have a look and see um, what the matchups are looking like, then please pause the video to have a look. But we're against an Orn as Malphite, but as you will probably see, we aren't going to go the typical um, the typical Malphite route um, as a tank. Um, we are actually going to be going grass with the Undying. And the reason being is that I won't really be able to poke down an on necessarily. We're not really going to be, be able to beat them early. Um, and he does do quite a bit of damage as you saw with um, our game was set yesterday. Um, so, I've decided that I instead... Um, I'm actually just going to just go grass with the undying instead. It will allow me to be more tankier. Um, so, um, in case you're wondering what the rune build is, and we can see that Kane is starting red. Um, Warwick. Yeah, I don't like the idea of that. He could get it. Okay, he actually stole, stole it. And Warwick got a kill as well. Yeah, I'm not going to leave lane to forget that. And so, I'm starting W first. I'd rather just try and get some lane prior. And work survives all of that as well. What the hell? So yeah, so we're just starting W first. So this isn't the typical um, type of build that you would see from a Malphite. It isn't necessarily designed to win lane. Um, so yes. An enemy has been slain. But this will allow us to be a lot tankier early. This will, so I'm actually going to lay this down because I believe that maybe the work might want to get this skull crab. So if we lay a little deeper ward, that will help him out a little bit. And then that way, if he does want to get that skull crab, which I believe he probably will do. Yeah, we'll get away from that. Hmm, okay. Use a corrupting potion. We're allowing the um, Wolf to Orn to push in. Wolf is nearby. And he does get that Scuttle Crab as well. Yeah, he's got quite a wave. He has, but... He should be pulling me away a little bit more. Um, this is from some of my own... Um, tuitions that I have gained recently. Shouldn't really be, um... Maxing Q first, actually. So we'll be using Q just to poke down a little bit to get the mana flow band. Okay, yeah, we'll use that. He actually went back just to get a tear. He did. Oh yeah, because he built that, didn't he? So, yeah, so the build is a little bit weird. It's not the best engineered um, for the early game. 
Um, I'm not going to be able to poke down an orn quite as much. But, it will make me stronger later. Let's go back. Actually, it's actually not in exactly a bad spot. Right, let's go back. We have got TP. I was wondering if that kill was in the reach, but obviously it did. Still didn't get that. Wait for the work to come up. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind the work getting that. Does he survive that? Yes, he does. They may get Drake out of this, though. Okay, we'll leave that there. That's a good gank from the work. I'm a little bit surprised that um, Kane's not doing dragon, but he might be around about now. Although they do. Wait. Our Zerif is roaming. <laughs> okay. That's pretty funny. Oh, Kane just got the pike. Mind you, the cane's not. Uh, the pike isn't doing too badly. Um, Kaiser is going AP by the looks of it, which is fine. You know, like Warwick um, and Pike will fall off. So obviously, these two are going to be the primary carries. If I had known that Carter was going to go AP as well, then maybe I would have decided possibly. Um, well, I could have gone either Scion or Seth. He completely missed that. You have slain an enemy. Yeah, on probably just lost lane because of that. I don't just realize I've been maxing Q this entire time. It defeats the object of my build, kind of. Like, this just shows how much I'm used to maxing Q. 
I have gone this variation of the build before, but I never really knew what it did. Maybe to be honest. And uh, this is something that I got to learn from my coaching that you can go this route um, for the tank versus tank matchups. But silly me. Look, there's a couple of variations with the first part of the um, resolve tree if you're going that primary. So I've gone shield bash, um, which obviously will help for when I'm going. Hmm. Do I? Oh, actually, that's how many good plate and still caps. This is what I should be doing. Yeah, he'll know that my control ward is there now. And he does put one himself there, so. But yeah, like, and we're not doing the best on farm, but we've got two kills, which basically puts us even. And this one's actually going, um, yeah, he's going Mertred. But for me, like, it might be because, yeah, you might be thinking about the late stages of the game, possibly, as well as I am. But he's, I don't think maybe he's recognised yet that um, Kaiser's actually going um, a point. Let's knock out this control board. You missed that one. I used my ult just to get away because the cane was actually right there. And uh, if Orn ults me, then cane can possibly do a million damage. Um, the cane is going um, red cane by the looks of it. He's got Gore Drinker. He's going. Um, yeah, he's gone Conqueror and he's gotten Gore Drinker. Now, the Kane could be doing Herald right about now. trying to yeah I had a feeling that Kane was actually doing that so yeah and Dwarves just died that should be a check down who did that check down go down to I wonder oh Kane's here yeah that was the edge as well so we'll just play a bit safe at the moment while he's there okay now we can go back to lane again Drake is up as well Give that a smack. Oh, the Kaiser couldn't stay alive. And uh, that turret is going to go as well. We can work our way down here. Just out of there.
Yeah, I'd say that was good overall. We managed to get the second Drake. Despite us being in a bad position, we still got Drake from all of that. Okay, so ton of damage. They're not playing very well, are they? Necessarily. I will say the Yawn is grouping up. I'll keep going with a little bit early. Okay, so I've got a good amount of that tower down, which is good. Hello there, Kane. How are you doing? Kane's still not got his form yet. No, he hasn't. Just trying to bait me in. That's what he's trying to do. He has got plus five gauntlet as well. That's fine. Still got the assist as well, I believe. We can actually finish with uh, knocking this tower down. Good flash on the pipe. So now, I do have my mythic. Yep. I'd rather use my ult for when... Okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, let's go to Drake now, because Kane is probably there. Put that there. Yeah, everybody got it. Let's start this up. I'd rather get this, to be honest. 
Look at them going well. I don't think it would do that much, much of damage, but I guess the um, brand was obviously is quite bad, which I didn't realise. So that was my bad on that. But then if I had ulted, then the cane would have actually have, um, ulted into me. I don't think he used it. Yeah, so if, if the cane um, did obviously ult, and I know that, then obviously, you know, then I would have altered away. But because I knew that the that because as far as I'm aware, Pike um Kane hadn't used his ult yet. If I had ult and Kane did that at the perfect moment, there was no way that then the Zerif would have escaped. On top of that. That's good. Yeah, Brand hasn't even realised we're coming towards mid lane right now. There you go. There's where I've got the Herald, okay. Oh, do I survive that? Do I survive? Yes, I do. <laughs> How did I survive that? Oh my word, okay. That, I do not believe I should have survived that, if I'm entirely honest. Right. Oh, that is a good ult. No way the brand's surviving that one. Yeah, that was a decent ult from uh, Warwick again. Warwick has gone second item more, um, more, more, more Mortius. What is that? The, oh, is it got the brand damage, is it? Okay. No, that is actually a smart move. Gives him very good protection against a brand one shot. So now, Brand can no longer one shot. There we go, that's fine. Oh, okay. Brand actually got, got his ult down right at the perfect moment. Where did that come from? Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, Bran should be dead as well. Oh cool, though Zerath isn't exactly fed, he has got a lot of Dark Harvest stats. I've just realised the Pyke has actually gone half shock. And yeah, Drake is about to come up. We have got the momentum going for us now. 
Um, I've only died twice. That's only my second death this game, by the way. Which is actually pretty good. But let's start making our way over to Drake. Your team has destroyed turret. He got that. Yeah, just getting done. And then straight after that, we can try and do Baron as well. Okay. Yeah, we should back, back away from that. Okay, that's a bit ambitious when we're not really following up. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> They're up everybody. I'm definitely going to get a force of nature, I think, later on. But we've got all four of the drakes so far. Yeah, we may have just taken over the game because Zeroth is starting to get his Dark Harvest stack very high. Warwick has just done so well and actually gone a pretty good build for what is a situational build. You know, going, um, going with the more second item is actually... A very strong item against certain um, mages, like, like say for example, a um, you know, That should have killed him. That should kill him, I would think. Because they're about to respawn, including the cane. Let's get away now. The Kaiser is now starting to do a lot of damage. I'm just here for more support. <laughs> oh dear. That work is a strong champion if you know how to play it. And obviously this work is obviously done very well. Oh, 
Nice one. And there you go. So, Gotha of the Undying a Malphite is not your typical Malphite build. It's not most supposed to do damage early. It's supposed to be more revolved around the later stages of the game. That is what makes the major difference with this build compared to the typical Malphite build that you see with Arcane Comet. Um, I did make the mistake of maxing Q first until my fourth point, and then I realized, hang on a second, I'm supposed to be maxing W first. But it's supposed to be a max W first with then E second, and then you go Q last. So your AP damage is not as high as what you make it be with, say, for example, um, Arcane Comet. But it's supposed to give you that much bigger amount of survivability in the later stages of the game. I've just realised I've also didn't give anybody um, an honour. But I would have honoured the Warwick or the Xerath. Both of them played, um, you know, very, very well. And yeah, like, the Pike did fantastically. Like, you know, especially in the early stages of the game. Kaisa didn't have the best of, of games, obviously, in the early stages. Neither did the Xerath. The Xerath did pull their game off very well, though, in the later stages of the game. Kaisa started coming back as well, but Warwick was so far ahead that Kane couldn't really do too much about it, despite him being a better scaling champion compared to Warwick. Warwick is a running champion that, yes, does have anti-healing, but at that stage of the game, he's not really going to do much because the anti-healing, um, because the healing would be negated a little bit by some of the team. You can tell the um, brand, as an example, was buying an Oblivion Orb now. At this stage of the game. And the Orn did already have 4 mail. Which is a very good item against the Warwick. But we go 2, 2, 12. 109 farm. Bear in mind we didn't really farm that much. We was grouping a lot. Because we were a little bit behind at, at some point. And that was I think the right time to actually um, start climbing back into the game. Was to group up. We also gained 20 LP. And being minus there as well. We do get one order. Honor as well. And yeah, like obviously, we're not going to deal any damage. We're not using Arcane Comet. We're going Grasp with the Undying Malphite. So I'm going to be even tankier than usual. And I think that kind of maybe put um, the enemy team um, out of it a little bit. Thinking, how is he so tanky? Well, this is the ruin path that I went. So Grasp with the Undying. I'm not healing that much because I don't need to heal. I'm using Grasp with the Undying more so... Um, for some of these, but maybe instead of going shield bash, maybe I'll go demolish. Maybe instead, um, this is a bit of trial. Um, with this version of the build that has been told by my coach, I have used Grass of the Undying once previously, but it was only because I was against the team and I was like, I need to just go tanky. I don't need to really go poke because Timo is squishy anyway. But if you do like the video, um, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some. Uh, and more amazing games like this as well. Um, but otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I uh, shall so see you guys next time. Okay.